All right, we are Stephen Adriano and Peter Hench Nicolau making our ECP2 video project. We have created a multifunction generator which simply takes in a DC signal, runs it through a comparator, charges a capacitor to trip the comparator, and then um, runs it through one integrator to create a triangle wave, a second integrator to create a sine wave, and then an amplifier to amplify the final sine wave since manipulation causes some loss. Um, here is our, in order to simulate a pulse, we have utilized a switch. So our frequency is determined by the fastest that we can switch it. And as you can see, here is the oscilloscope. Yeah, here's the oscilloscope running. So let's see if we can get all right, start switching. Do it faster so you can see it. You can see that when pulsed, this creates a square wave as expected. I'm going to hook it up to triangle. All right. You might not be able to tell on this video, but there is a slight slope. Um, we are having issues finding exactly the correct oscilloscope settings to show the slope a little more magnified, but you can see that where the square wave was just a straight square, here we do have a minor slope. And then there's the sine wave. All right, and then it's the same deal for the sine wave. There is a minor slope in both directions, but again, it's not as pronounced as we had seen in the past. Um, we're attributing this to our oscilloscope settings. But as you can see, every pulse does result in a positive side of the wave as expected since we only have one power source. Um, this circuit took us about 25 hours each of man hours and and here we are. Any, any last words for the camera, Steve? Um, I'll be ready to present it later today. All right, thank you for your time.